in response to uh, my latest video, Rocky Mystery sort of posed the question I mean, is what I think about fatherhood and how it all fits into all this. Um, well, I'll just try to keep this as brief as possible. Uh, I think if I were still to adhere to the fairy tale um, that we've been told, that we've been fed, then I'd say, yeah, I'm all for fatherhood. It's a great thing. After all, uh, in a biological sense, the only reason we're here is to propagate our DNA. Um, and, you know, that's all well and good. But the problem is, uh, and it seems to go readily hand in hand with the problem of having a relationship with a female, is that, yeah, you, for the time being, you still require access to a vagina to do that. And uh, after that happens, you, uh, you belong to the state. Uh, you'll have state violence uh, used against you. Um, once, once you set marriage, well, of course, that's usually, I mean, there are children born out of wedlock. I'm sure that usually the state can coerce money out of uh, men anyway. But quite frankly, well, what I think about fraud fatherhood is I think it's uh, a great thing. It's a great thing to propagate your DNA, spread your seed, but uh, the risks are just too high. I'm sympathetic to the idea, if only because I, like any other man, would ideally, in an ideal world, like to propagate my DNA. But the risks are just... Uh, too enormous. Getting involved with a woman, having a child with that woman, uh, it's it's just not very, very, too much of a risk. Interestingly enough, anecdotally, I know a guy who, I, well, I don't think he would call himself a man going his own way, but he essentially lives a lifestyle. But he basically just donates sperm uh, to a sperm bank. In this way, assuming someone accepts his sperm, he, uh, you know, he's get, he's getting his DNA, his seed spread out there, and, and you don't have to worry about uh, any of the consequences from state intervention. Now, I realize most men wouldn't be content with that since they want to have a direct, uh, a direct influence in their children's uh, lives. But uh, well, the other thing uh, I I would be concerned about if I were a father, particularly of a female, is that knowing what what is inherent to female nature. Um, I wouldn't be able to, it's not to say I wouldn't love the child, but I think I, I personally have issues uh, seeing past the fact that she would always view men in an exploitative fashion. Um, she might love me in the sense that I am either some sort of blood kin kinship there, that seems to be the limit of female love, if there is some sort of uh, genetic element there, although I'm doubtful of that as well skeptical of that, but um, that, that, that might be an issue. But at the end of the day, um, you don't, you're not getting any bang for the buck. You as a father have almost no rights. The minute your, your spouse, your female spouse says, well, you know, I'm going to get a divorce, no fault divorce, and kicks you out of uh, her life and your children's lives, I mean, it's just not worth it. What I would advocate um, in a way is what I'm doing here is that mentoring, maybe mentoring uh, young boys um, to be self-confident, not in the sense of self-confident to, to attract females, but uh, to develop a sense, a sense of personal dignity independent of, of the feminine, independent of attracting females. Uh, men, boys naturally gravitate um, towards competition, dominance hierarchy competition in order to attract fertile females. Um, then I would, I, and that's what they do, but I would, for example, if I, if I were a mentor, I would redirect them towards a healthy, maybe intellectual competition or athletic competition uh, for its own sake or for self-improvement or anything along those lines. Then that's what something I might advocate um, as opposed to direct fatherhood. The temptation, of course, is strong because one wishes to propagate one's DNA, that one wants to spread one's genes, but uh, the risks are just too high. Um, and, and if things do go south, as they inevitably usually do, I mean, you've invested tons of time, money, energy into nothing, years of your life. 
I just know too many examples of fathers who are not involved with their children, not because they don't want to be, but because the wives don't want them to be anymore in the state agreed with the wife. So that's basically my take on fatherhood. Uh, the risk, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice idea, but as we jettison the fairy tale of the relationship, so too must we jettison the desire, well, not the desire, but certainly the actualization of the desire to propagate uh, your one's DNA, our DNA. It's just necessary. Uh, it's saddening, but it's also saddening. Like you have a period of mourning. At some point in time, I accepted the, the fact that I'm likely never going to propagate my DNA. And uh, I'm okay with that. I mean, it don't, I don't think it's brilliant, but what else are you going to do? Um, for those men out there who have already propagated their DNA, uh, hmm, I mean, they're already in a, in a bit of a pickle, I would imagine. And if you've already propagated your DNA, obviously you can't advocate not having children with females since you've already done it. So it's a bit of a catch-22, I suppose. But uh, I'm not, I, this is just my take on this. I just think it's too risky um, not having direct involvement. Um, and even in, even if you were to have direct involvement, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the level of criticism level that you as a father would be enormous from the wife. Uh, so, you know, but at the same time, fathers are probably... Well, they are uh, in an ideal, like I said, fairy tale situation that you know, people still adhere to. Fathers are an important element of family life, but once again, the family doesn't really exist anymore. So, trying to support an old model that doesn't work, eh, there will be anomalies. There will there will be exceptions, but um, no, by and large, uh, it just won't work anymore. In the long run, in the long run, obviously, we as a species need to continue propagating our DNA. And all the uh, vaginally addicted men out there will continue doing that, the vast majority, uh, probably 95, 99% plus. Men going their own way are an incredibly small minority. Uh, in fact, if you were to actually tell people in real life about some of these ideas, they would look like you, like you have five heads. If they, well. Now, if, you're, if they're a female and you tell them, they'll scream at you and tell you how bad men are and how bad women have it. If they're a male, they'll just, uh, well, or they engage in shaming language, both males and females, or they'll just look at you, the males will just look at you like five heads. They won't even understand what you're talking about half the time. So, no, uh, we, we are a minority. I'm, we're not going to change the world. Um, but, as I said, men, go, men going their own way, that's all about, you know, enlightened self-interest. Uh, it's not in the self in, it's not in, in enlightened self interest to propagate one's DNA with a female who will inevitably betray you and uh, steal your children away from you and not allow you to participate in your children's lives. There's no point in that. So I can't really advocate that per se. However, I understand the dilemma uh, a man is in when he's already propagated his DNA and uh, essentially dug into the trenches. In that case, if I were in that situation, I would indeed fight tooth and nail for access to my children and the ability to participate in my children's lives, but um, I'm not in that situation. And quite fr to be frank, I'm happy or reasonably content not to be in that situation because I think it's, it's very, very difficult. It's very taxing. Um, you know, and said, uh, the minute you marry a woman, you have essentially surrendered your life to the state. You are a slave to the state and you must obey the state's orders completely. Um, but yeah, so I think ultimately to summarize, uh, in an idea, maybe three points. In an ideal world, the fairy tale I've talked about, if you were to still adhere to that and believe, believe the crap that we've been fed, yeah, sure, propagating one's DNA is it's a nice thing. But, given reality, um, it's not such a nice thing since uh, it really, you just end up ruining your life by doing so. Um, I can only imagine what it's like not having access to your DNA or, or being able to participate in raising your DNA, or children, as people like to call them. Um, so, yeah, finally, once you've already 
propagated your DNA, I, I guess you don't really have much of a choice but to advocate doing that, joining, joining with a female in order to do that. Uh, but things need to change. And given the current system, they're just getting worse and worse. So, yeah. If you're already a father, I would say fight tooth and nail to keep your children in your life and uh, participate in their lives. Uh, if you're not, uh, I think it's risky business at best. Uh, despite our innate desire to spread our seed, just too risky, like so many other things involving females. Remember, at the end of the day, that's all we really want from females. We want to, uh, you know, have access to their uteruses. So, I mean, what else do females bring to the table? I can't think of anything. Uh, all, all evidence. I mean, have you ever had a better conversation with a female than with a male? I've never had. I'm, I'm shocked when I have a decent conversation with most most females. No, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. Uh, proving your worth so you can lease her her uterus. Well, I don't know. That's just not worth it. It's not worth the money, the pain, the agony. Think about the, you know, once the divorce pr uh, proceedings start, and you lose access to your children, access to your children, or who knows, decades of, of mourning that ensues. I don't, what's the point? Um, but if you're already ha if you're already in that situation, you might as well fight for it. Don't give up. Obviously, um, you know, raising one's DNA is an important thing, and so I could definitely see that. But I myself, I wouldn't advocate that for men going their own way. But you know, every man's free to do as he chooses. Anyway, that's my take on that. Uh, thanks for watching.